Welcome back everyone to Data Science for Everyone. Today we're going to be looking at and continuing on with our stock prices with PySpark. And so we'll call this part two. So we're going to continue on with um, our previous analysis here where we were looking at the, um, the looking at buy industry and we wanted to kind of maybe uh, get this a little bit lower than what we wanted to before. So for example, we have this product build and it's just way big, okay? And same with, for example, these uh, major chemicals. So maybe we want to only look at um, maybe uh, uh, everything except maybe those two industries, okay? So let's, let's go on and um, clean that up just a little bit, okay? So let me go down to the bottom here. And let's call this something like, uh, what What do we want to call this? Uh, let's just call this um, uh, industry DF, no, cam, or build. So let's do our industry data frame. And we want to go on and have a couple different things here. Why is it doing that today? All right, so let's change this up and we want um, what in here? We want our industry data frame of our industry, okay? That is not equal to our major chemicals and our industry data frame of our industry that is not equal to our uh, building uh, is it products I mean let's let's double check let's go on up there chemical uh, major chemicals and building products. Okay, so we're gonna cut those out. Oh, and I need to put this inside of a parenthesis for it to work. Uh, and let's run that. All right, and then let's go on and do the same plot that we did for this one. Let's go up and we're just gonna copy it. Go back down, 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 down. We'll put this here and it'll be uh, DF, no chem, no build. We'll run this and we should see now uh, a little bit cleaner. Yes, look at that. So now we have a significantly cleaner looking um, uh, plot here where we can see all of the other um, values. And again, we're looking at the average, uh, the average, what here, the average stock prices uh, by industry. Okay, and again, these three here are, for example, the close, um, close, open, and adjusted. So now let's go on and maybe look at something a little bit, maybe like a deeper dive here. Okay, so let's say that we only wanted to look at the healthcare industry. Okay, so we'll do import spark.sql dot functions as F. Um, oh, PySpark. Uh, and then let's go on and uh, do something like health is equal to df dot filter uh, and F dot call sector uh, that is equal to here healthcare uh, and then let's do health.show so notice here now we have all of our nice um, healthcare industry uh, type information here now we maybe want to go about grabbing um, some other information okay so let's say that we want our um, let's do our like our minimum and our maximum openings for um, 
for our data set. Okay, so let's let's actually make make a little bit of a list here. We want like the like a uh, start and end date for our uh, data set. Uh, we want uh, min, max. Uh, so again, this is this is going to be besides this. This is just if we were wanting to use uh, PySpark to grab a specific um, industry. And now let's actually go through and do a little bit of statistics on the whole data set as a whole. So um, min, max, um, and average. Uh, and then I think I think maybe that will do for for now. Okay, because again, we're wanting to do some some nice aggregation, I think. So let's go on and grab those. So let's do from pi spark.sql. Functions we want to import in here column, min, max, we'll do average. Uh, I think we'll be good for now. So we'll do something like df dot group by here let's do it by sector whoops um, and do we want to yeah so let's group by sector and then let's say we'll use the aggregate function here and we want min of the date uh, dot alias here and we'll call this from uh, and then we'll do, let's say the max of date dot alias, and this will be two. Okay, so we'll do kind of like a two from, uh, or a, well, we can do, we could also do a start and an end date. Let's do start end. Uh, and then Let's give it a little bit of space and we'll do min of our open alias uh, and let's call this min open uh, max open uh, alias and that is not going to work because I keep misspelling alias here. All right, and then here we'll do max dot open uh, and then average here of open alias of, of average of open <sighs> and I'm going to go on and copy this oops I'll paste this and here will be close, close, close. We'll change these as well. And I'll see you guys in just a second while I finish this up. Okay, so we're back and we have our um, everything kind of typed out. Oh, and I need to put that back to start and end again uh, here and we see here that we have our nice and I kind of and I kind of made these a little bit more wordy in there so that when we have a nice printout it looks uh, nice and well rounded uh, now another thing that we want to do to this is do dot show uh, truncated is false so that we can get a nice um, or truncate sorry um, uh, a nice uh, visual on all of our output and of our data. So again, here we have a start date and an end date. Uh, so again, we can kind of uh, tell people our range for our uh, data, and then we have our max and our mins and our averages. Okay. So again, this is this is a nice way to kind of uh, have a nice visual on everything. And again, you could turn this into um, maybe a uh, some sort of um, nice pandas plot or something else and you could maybe do some visualizations with it as well uh, let's go on 
to do some uh, time series plotting with this. Because again, again, I think you guys are probably wanting to maybe see how we could plot some of this stuff out. So let's go on and grab stuff where we look at just the technology sector. Okay, so um, tech is df.where column of our sector is equal to technology. Uh, select here and we want date, open, close, and uh, adjusted. And let's go on and actually just plot this directly out. So uh, tech dot to pandas uh, dot plot sub plots is equal to true. Um, and maybe let's do something like um, fig size is do uh, 12 by eight. Oh, it doesn't have that in here. So let's do Oh, it works. Come here now. Okay, and now we can see here that we definitely have um, a nice plot in here. Uh, we can see that, for example, um, all of these are nice. We have some major jumps in there. And if we also notice, like if I go back up here and I do something like uh, tech dot show and we can look at the data here again it's just just the date of all of these uh, types of data in here we haven't really uh, got anything quite as useful as we may want to uh, so we could also go through and say we want to maybe filter out some of this um, data okay so how would we go about filtering out the data. So let's say that we want to uh, filter our adjusted, okay? Uh, that is between 100 and 500. So and let's look at the top five. Okay, so now we can actually go through and grab out, for example, our our, our data that we see here, okay? So we have our, the symbols for those that are gonna be between, um, hmm, our adjusted, where's my adjusted at? Adjusted's over here. Uh, so we have our, uh, we can see that it's gonna be between our uh, 100 and 500, okay? Uh, so maybe let's say that we want to get the averages of uh, some of this data as well uh, with respect to maybe um, uh, some of the dates, okay? So we want to grab grab a section of dates from our data set. So for this, we need actually from pyspark.sql.functions, we want to import lit for uh, our literal. Uh, and we're going to do something like df.filter here of the column uh, called date that is greater than or equal to the lit of 2020-01-01. Um, and let's get um, a column of date that is less than or equal to the literal of 2020-01-01. Uh, and let's show the first five. So here we have all of our nice data that is between those said dates that we can grab and we can run some sort of uh, nice analysis with them. Uh, and let's go on and do a couple more in this uh, similar fashion here. So um, let's see, what would we like to do? Uh, let's do some um, if else, okay? So for example, um, let's do some cases, okay? So you want to maybe have 
um, start looking at some trading strategies, okay? So you can do something like df.select, open, uh, close, uh, and we want a function of win, win, okay? And this creates, this creates a, a case statement for us, okay? So win df adjusted is greater than or equal to 200. We're going to give it a one. Otherwise, oops. Um, dot otherwise, we'll give it zero. So let's do dot show. And so here you can see here that this actually creates up a nice case for us. Uh, case when adjusted is greater than 200. Uh, uh, than one else zero. So again, it kind of tells us what that is. And again, we could always go about um, uh, aliasing this and let's say that we want it as strat for strategy. Okay, and then we have our nice strategy here. Uh, so then again, you can put this into your algorithm or anything else. Uh, let's also look at ways of grabbing in some of the data. So for example, you want to find the name of a specific sector, okay? That maybe starts with something or ends with something. Um, and we'll give it a nice true and false statement. Uh, so let's do df.select sector. And then here we'll do uh, df sector uh, dot r like okay and so here this is we need a, a string literal here well i guess we don't have to here um, then we'll do it starts with b or c and then let's um give this a nice alias so uh uh sector starts with B or C. Don't show. Okay, and so here we see, oh, true, 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 true. Now this is completely useless to us, right? So how would we want to take a look at this? Well, let's go on and add in a distinct dot distinct and take a look. See, and now we have all of our distinct uh, sectors in here and we have whether it starts with a C or a B. So here you can see that healthcare is definitely false, capital goods is going to be true, public utilities is going to be false, and we have a B down here as basic industries is gonna be true. So again, you can use nice regular expressions in here in order to grab out um, any type of sector uh, that you want. Okay, if you guys like this, please comment, subscribe, and hit that like button, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.